Welcome back to the Giant Monster Games 2017 Advent Calendar. We are on deck number 10 today, which means that we are officially one-third of the way through this entire thing. Today is going to be the Boros Blink combo. Now, this combo is based around two cards. One is going to be Felidar Guardian, the second one is going to be Restoration Angel. So, if we get two Felidar Guardians or a Felidar Guardian and a Restoration Angel into play, we can basically bounce them back and forth because their ability is when it enters the battlefield, we choose a permanent or a creature in some cases, and it leaves play and then it immediately comes back into play. So when it comes into play, we can then bounce something else. With these two cards in play, or once one of them comes into play, we have the other one already in play, we can have infinite number of creatures entering the battlefield and theoretically leaving the battlefield. So, how do we capitalize on this combination? Well, we have a bunch of different ways. The first one is going to be Genesis Chamber, which is whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield, we get to create a 1-1 mirror token. Actually, anyone, so if our opponent plays a creature, they also get a 1-1 mirror token, but we can just create infinite number of 1-1 mirror tokens. Second one is going to be Impact Tremors, which is whenever a creature enters the battlefield, we get to do 1 damage to each opponent, so we can do an infinite amount of damage to our opponent. Third one is going to be Crew Striker, so Kroon Striker gets plus one, plus oh, and gains trample whenever a creature enters the battlefield, so we get to make Kroon Striker infinite one with trample, and then swing in and do damage to our opponent's face. And then the last one, we also have Soul Warden, which can gain us infinite amount of life as we have infinite number of creatures entering the battlefield. So, this is what this deck is trying to do. It is doing some kind of infinite combination with creatures entering the battlefield, which then we will then use to win the game. So let's pass it over to Adrian, where he is going to show you the self way to play this deck, maybe not the best way, but definitely the saltiest. Thank you, Introduction Adrian. I'll play the Boros Blink deck now. Oh, hi guys, welcome back. You just listened to Adrian tell you about how this deck is played. We're gonna say, let's keep this opening hand. I, I'm gonna stop this gig now. It's <laughs> why I'm always trying to think of new ways of like starting the video or like doing the transition from like the intro of the holiday videos to like this one. So I'm just, uh, I'm trying something out, okay guys? I'm trying something new out to see if it works. In the meantime, we are playing the Boros Blink combo deck, which is, as I said before, one of Ted's videos. And it's basically, it, it's an infinite combo deck that can do a whole bunch of infinite combo-y things. Uh, the one thing about this deck is I think it would actually benefit from Kiki Jiki uh, Mirror Breaker, to be quite honest. Because um, I actually I actually own this deck in paper, and I've played it a lot. Um, a lot? A lot? A lot? Uh, you a lot something? You, you, guys, you guys know what I'm talking about here. I think what we do is we... We pretend we're playing Soul Sisters. Let's... let's 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 deke our opponent out and say, oh, we're playing Soul Sisters, and he's going to be like, oh, it's Soul Sisters. And then we're going to throw down some other stuff, and then he's going to be like, uh, maybe this is not Soul Sisters. But right now, it looks like Soul Sisters. Mono white Soul Sisters. And this is always yes. Always yes. Always yield. There's no reason for me ever to have to stop on this. So yes, there we go. <laughs> and this is always yes. Always yield as well. There's no reason why I wouldn't want these counters put on him. Uh, well... There may be, but none that I can think of that would ever actually be played at this exact moment. So, here we go. Swing in for one damage. We're winning this match. Yeah, that's right. Our opponent's at 19. We're at 21. Uh, we can call this quits. Game's over. We win. Sorry. Um, thanks for coming out and playing. <laughs> that's not how this game works. Uh, yes. So, our opponent is going to fetch out. We're playing against blue-white. I'm assuming it's blue-white control. Uh, could also be blue-white Jeskai. Oh, uh, no, it's Jeskai. We're playing against Jeskai. Which is also a combo deck, which means we may... Ooh, Lightning Bolt. Uh, it's also a combo deck, which means we may actually... Um, hmm, Felidar Guardian, you are fun. Need more draw, though. Can't play you yet. I guess we just... Play the Kroon Striker and go to combat? Uh, I think we go to combat first. Whatever, we'll go to combat first. Because it doesn't get haste, it just gets trample. Trample's nice. So, here we go. Swing in with the one damaging Soul Sister, and I totally skipped through my turn, because I'm a douche canoe. Yep, yep, that happens. Um, that happens. Hitting buttons is fun. It's not fun, is what I'm getting at here. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, again, I wish there was a skip to... I don't know, there, I, I say skip to end step, but in reality I need skip to something else. Okay, so we're going to play Kroon Striker. Let's play them first, because why the heck not? This is what I meant to play last turn, which would have been fantastic, but I didn't. He might have a counter spell now, though. If he has a mana leak, 
he might mana leak it. Seems weird. I don't think he would want to actually mana leak it, though. Mm, maybe he is mana leaking it. Okay, well, I mean, feel free. <laughs> That's okay with me. I will play another. I'm not going to play for it. Um, I'll just play another one. There we go. Ta-da! Look at that. Mirror. Another one. And then we'll swing for one. Because we can. Go to combat. Attacking in. Uh, Bazingo. Bazinga Bazinga. Um, and this is when another creature enters the battlefield. So once we play Feldar Guardian. Um, so the idea behind this deck, which I explained. You get Feldar Guardian and or Restoration Angel or double Feldar Guardian. And you basically get infinite number of creatures entering the battlefield. Which with Soul, Soul's Attendant or any of the Soul Sisters. Infinite life. And Lightning Helix on the Kroon Striker. Or Kroon Striker gets infinitely large and has Trample. So he's getting rid of it. He knows that that's the thing. He knows that that's the way the cookie crumbles. What do we draw? Battlefield Forge. Not really what we need, but we'll take it. Swing in with the Souls, Souls Attendant. Slowly doing one damage to our opponent's face. Turn by turn here. And then we're going to go to second main phase. Might as well... Oops, cancel that. Might as well play the Feldar Guardian. So... We can create whatever color mana with that. Leave up red. I don't really want to pay life for it. We could, in theory. And you are going to do the Soul's Attendant. So she'll flicker. You come in, we gain life. Uh, yeah, might as well. Not like it does anything, but might as well. <laughs> so, okay. Mostly because it comes un untapped, I guess. I mean, that's, that's an upside. And he hasn't played anything, so I'm really tempted to just bolt our opponent's face. Nah, we're going to hold up bolt, just in case he does play something that we need to get rid of. Just in case. Um, well, that didn't help us out at all. So, go to combat, swing with everything, attack with all creatures, ship it to our opponent's turn. We are bluffing two cards. Uh, we can be bluffing a path, lightning bolt. He probably thinks we probably do have lightning bolt. Uh, and we can also be bluffing a path as well, technically. Path to Exile, either one of those things. Obviously, we don't have any Path to Exiles in the deck, but <laughs> I mean, our opponent doesn't know that, so why not? Uh, we'll play a Planes so he knows that we're not bluffing that. And then again, go to combat, swing with everything. It's a slow 1-1 one, one death. Two damage a turn is a win by slow and steady wins the race, right? Uh, this being said, I mean, if he is playing Jeskai combo, uh, once he goes off, things get scary. And... Scry two, draw two cards. Okay. That's a thing. That is a thing. Um, I'm not going to lie. Also, I I have looked into the Jeskai combo before, but I don't remember right now exactly how it works. Uh, I, I know you need to get the Jeskai Ascendancy into play. Legendary enchantment. What is this? Oh, it's the one of the new from Ixland. So, it's being your upkeep. Look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. If you have seven or more cards in your graveyard, you may transform it, and it transforms into a card where it's a land, so it produces uh, mana for you. And you can look at the top four cards of your library, reveal a non-creature card from among them, and put it into your hand. Put the rest on your bottom of the library in any order. That's neat. Nice little looter for you. So, he, this is going to transform on his next step, next turn. More land. That's fun. Not fun. Fun, non fun. So, go to combat. Again, attacking for two. <laughs> slow, painful death here. Mostly painful, not so slow. And, yeah. Here we go. Swinging in. We have Lightning Bolt, which is nice. Uh, holding it up. I mean, if you play something... Oh, there's Lightning Helix. So we can gain some life back from him. I'll say, if we can get him down to three life, we can bolt him, <laughs> which is nice. And now he's actually going to be able to start filtering real fast and choosing exactly what he wants. That's not good for us. So this might not be actually the combo, just guy combo deck. It might be, though. I mean, it's possible. And we get Impact Drummers. Might as well play Impact Drummers. Impact Drummers is good. He may also counter it. Mana Leak doesn't really help him out, though. You would need to probably have a remand. Cryptic. Cryptic also works. No. Not paying anything. I'm assuming it's a cryptic. Cryptic command. And the answer is a cryptic command. Yep. That's fine. It happens. 
I would like to play Impact Tremors. <laughs> Again, Impact Tremors is one of the ones if we go infinite with uh, Feldar Guardians. Impact Tremors, bleh, million damage. Or in this case, 11 damage, which is what we'd be aiming for. And ship it to our opponent's turn. We have run out of gasoline, that's for sure. Yeah, no gasoline right now. We can get it though, we can get it. We have stuff. We're not out of the match yet. I mean, if we get a Restoration Angel, we should be in pretty good, pretty good situation, pretty good uh, spot. And yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure what our opponent's doing, <laughs> other than just playing a Jeskai control deck, which I guess is a thing. And I don't really want to cast with Dash. I think I was going to cast this girl regularly. See if he has another counter spell. Another Cryptic. If he has another Cryptic, that's cool for him. Could have a Mana Leak. We can just pay for Mana Leak. He doesn't. Okay, well, he's going to have to find a way of dealing with this. I mean, he should have lots. I mean, there's, he, he should have Bolts, Lightning Helixes, lots of stuff to deal with that. Um, the nice thing about Feldar Guardian is it's outside of Bolt range, and it's outside of Lightning Helix range, so he can't deal with it even if he wants to. So it's just going to be the slow one damage at a time. <laughs> slow grind. And with this, we're going to just pay a whole bunch of red mana. And there's the Lightning Bolt. We knew that was coming. I mean, if we can go another three turns, or no, another six turns, we can uh, do enough damage with Feldar Guardian and then Lightning Bolt him. Ooh. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. And I think we just ship it through. We're just going to carry on with the shipping plan here. We are a shipping company at this point. Path to Exile revealed. Goodbye, Feldar Guardian. It's nice seeing you, but I think you're going to need to go uh, far away to the land known as the Exile Zone. I have a hunch this is where you're leaving. They're going to be going there maybe right now. If we do do that, though, um, we'll be getting more land, which, uh, for me, personally, I think is fantastic. And... Soul Warden? Sure, let's see if our opponent wants to path uh, Feldar Guardian. Soul Warden. Well, he's gonna let it come into play. Well, we'll go to combat. Attack with all creatures. There you go, opponent. You can now path our guy. I'm okay with you pathing it now, because we'll get land. Path? Path to Exile. No, he doesn't do it. Doesn't do it. Decides not to. Not really sure why. I guess he's probably waiting for something bigger. I would guess. Or maybe he's waiting for us to play, like, the Restoration Angel. Maybe. I'm not, again, I have, I would be completely okay with him actually pathing any of our creatures. And that's just, well, I say okay. I would, it's not sad if he paths, path to exiles any of our stuff, because then we can actually go get more land. And our opponent is like, again, I'm not really, <laughs> I'm not really sure what they're doing. I'm assuming it's a Jeskai combo deck. Doesn't really look like it to me. <laughs> no clue. At this point, I have no clue. What was the other card he, he revealed? Uh, Electrolyze. Okay. Supreme Verdict. Destroy all creatures. Hmm. Okay, well, that's the thing that happens. Probably why he didn't want to path. Because he had a Supreme Verdict coming up. Get rid of all the creatures. We draw another land. Might as well play yet another land. Ship to our opponent. Man, too many lands in this deck. I say too many lands, but you you have a lot of lands on the deck solely because you need to be able to play four drops on turn four or five, if possible. I always keep thinking, I'm like, maybe Knight of the White Orchid might be okay in this deck. Maybe. Maybe this deck needs to be upgraded. Okay, so another path to exile. And we're not doing much. So I'm going to pass until response. Feel the ruin. Okay, well, <laughs> if you want. Sure. Go for it. Nothing? Anything? Anything? Nothing? Okay, nothing. Nothing from our opponent. That's a thing that happens. Double Lightning Bolt. Ooh. I can say I like Double Lightning Bolt. I like Double Lightning Bolt a lot. If we can get one more damage and somehow we can double lightning bolt our opponent's face, which would be super fun. The other thing about this deck as well, if we were, if I was to upgrade this deck, I would probably put in lightning helixes as well because we're running Pride Mate. So it's kind of like a Soul Sisters deck that has a bunch of other upgrades to it potentially, which is pretty fun, which is pretty fun. The deck is actually quite fun to play when you're playing in paper as well because it's like doing all kinds of crazy shit. 
And our opponent is doing what I'm... Again, why isn't our opponent been swinging with, like, Celestial Colonnade? Like, our opponent could have had us, like, dead by now if he really wanted to. But he's not, and I don't really understand why. Again, I don't know why he didn't also just make Celestial Colonnade a creature and block the Felidar Guardian, killing it. I'm, I'm not really sure <laughs> about the logic behind all this. I'm not going to pretend I understand how this game is played. I'm a complete newbie. I know nothing. But, <laughs> this is a lie, by the way. I'm just I'm just trying to fill the airspace. I don't want it to be complete silence amongst us. Hey, look. Ghost Quarter. You know what Ghost Quarter does? Destroys Celestial Colonnades. When the time comes. Again, why is he not... Again, he, he, no... Like, why is he not swinging for four every single turn? Like, is there something special he was planning on doing? Like, maybe? I don't know. I mean, even with this, he can still pay for Celestial Colonnade. <laughs> Why? Why wouldn't you do that? I guess he's just trying to like he's trying to dig up something with this. I mean his deck is half empty at this point. If his if he hasn't found his actual like win condition, like I'm not sure what he's trying to do. Like our deck is not the most efficient deck. It is a fun and it is like it can be like in a mid rangey kind of matchup. Sure, it can do a lot of damage. But yeah, I don't understand. I don't understand what our bonus deck is doing. We should rename this. So instead of this being like the advent calendar video for Boros Blink Combo, it should be Adrian doesn't understand what's going on advent calendar Boros Blink Combo. As in, I don't understand what our opponent's actually doing. What they're att attempting to achieve here. Maybe they're trying to achieve playing a bunch of stuff. Well, let's play Kroon Striker and have our opponent counter it. Why not? Something to do. There you go, opponent. Um, no, oh, opponent decides not to. He's gonna path it though. If he paths it, we get to get a land. Land is always fun. And it is him filtering cards. Filtering cards. Taking the top card of his deck. Putting cards he doesn't want on the bottom. Yep, secure the waste is revealed. Okay, so he's gonna create a whole bunch of. whole bunch of. Is that the win con? Really? Is that the actual win con? Is just play around so it's not it's not it for the record 100% not just guy combo <laughs> not not at all it's something else entirely so he's probably gonna play secure the waste for as much mana as humanly possible uh, so he plays a second class celestial colonnade so secure the wastes for a hundred or something like that so there's the path okay sure we'll take the path yes I would like to search my library please. And what's more helpful? Neither of them. Neither. Nothing. Well, let's go with white. <laughs> sure. There we go. Go to our turn. Opponent, again, doesn't swing it with Celestial Colonnade because reasons. We'll play another Soul Warden, and we're just going to keep playing one card at a time until our opponent eventually runs out of cards in their deck, I guess. So now he has to path the Soul Warden before he plays um... Before he plays the blah, blah, Secure the Wastes. So that's the thing that has to happen. Unless he's about to play Secure the Wastes. No, he's supposed to, he's gonna play Secure the Wastes for seven. Okay, well I'm gonna get a bunch of life. I'm okay with that. That's the thing that happens. I guess he gets to swing in for seven each turn, which uh, if you wanna do that, go for it. I'm fine. That's, <laughs> why didn't you path it first? Path and get six. I should have been dead like four turns ago. Or at least, like, we're on turn 16. I should have been dead 10 turns ago. Why? Why, opponent? You're drawing this out for no reason. Like, I'm I'm guilty of burning my clock from time to time, but you are burning your clock, like, like from both ends. Like, if you if you were a person that, like, burns the, burns the candle at both ends, you are, like, torching the candle at both ends. I'm not salty, by the way. I'm just confused. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand what our bone is doing. I just don't get it. And this... What? Why? 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 Okay. Well, um, well, there's land. <clears throat> Good thing I drew that. I really like land. Did I ever tell you I like land? Pretty big fan of land. Uh, well, just because, for no reason other than because we can, let's, let's double bolt. Should have double bolted when he did the secure the way, so he doesn't have any way of countering this. Because he could probably counter it right now. Not with a mana leak, obviously, but with, like... But with a cryptic command. So that's not very fun for us. 
Not very fun at all. And we'll go like this as well. Blah, 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 blah. Grumble, 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 grumble. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, do you want to redirect damage to Nahiri? No. Go to our opponent's face with it. I don't care. Okay. Well, let's see what our opponent decides to do. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to let him burn his clock. I'm literally just going to skip through all of this stuff. Burn your clock, opponent. Give me as much time as humanly possible to win this game in the next two rounds. Now that I know what's going on, um, I can take out a ton of stuff that I'm, I don't need to be worried about. Which is nice. I mean, we know we're playing against a control deck that has a lot of burn, a lot of removal. So we just put in stuff to, to counter all that. We, we have the stuff. We have the stuff in the sideboard, guys. I say we have the stuff, but I don't have any clue what's in the sideboard right now. Mostly because, again, like, hey, look, what? He finally made Celestial Colonnade into a creature, and he didn't even attack in with it. Lightning Berserker, sure. Let's cast it. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cast with Dash. Let's see if our opponent has a response for this. I'm assuming they do. Five cards in hand. Okay. Go to combat. I don't think I have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, okay. Okay. Does our opponent have a way of dealing with this guy? Sacrifice Ghost Coder, blowing up our planes, getting a mountain. <laughs> our opponent has to have a way of dealing with this, right? Has to have like a Path to Exile, Lightning Bolt, anything. Uh, yes, I'm gonna go fetch up a mountain. Come on, our opponent has to have something. That I can't win by this. This is impossible for me to win like this. So pay yes. Hold on, can I only do this once? Pay red. Why can't I just pay over and over again? It'd be so much easier. Okay, there we go. There's the path to exile. Okay. I'm like, why didn't you just do that sooner? Sure, I'll go fetch up a land. <laughs> why not? I was, getting, I was getting really excited. I was like, no, there's no way. There's no way at all that he was going to let Lightning Berserker swing in for 7 damage. <laughs> Not even a chance. Okay. It was pretty funny, though. I got excited. I got very excited for a second there. Very excited. Okay, well, let's go to sideboard. <laughs> That's a strange game. Um, so, Deflecting Palm is very fun. Return to Larynx is very fun. So, these can all come in. Um, Crumble to Dust is also very fun because he's doing a lot of Annoying stuff. Uh, Boros Charm. What is Boros Charm doing again? So, 4 damage. Prevent uh, creatures you control. Permanents you control get indestructible until the turn. And target creature you gain can double strike. Maybe. Destroy artifact. Destroy enchantment. Nah, doesn't really matter. Firewalker. Maybe a good one. Maybe a good one. Um, mostly because he can't be destroyed. Don't need Tormod Script. Things we can take out. Uh, for starters, Restoration Angel, Felter Guardian, you guys can stay in. Kroon Striker, kind of 50-50. Impact Tremors, you can come out. You're good and all, but not good enough. Pride Mate, you can stay in. Soul Wardens, everything like that stays in. Uh, Lightning Berserker, taking out two of you. Do I take out two? No, I take out... I think I turn out the Kroon Strikers, actually. I don't think I need any of them. Uh, all of this stuff. Um... Is that better, actually? Is that better? Pride mate, you guys can actually mode. We're not gonna actually be able to get get you to get any value off of you. And I mean, even though we may be putting in, actually, I think we'll take out the ah yeah, the firewalkers need to stay in because he's gonna lightning helix and lightning bolt, so he they just can't be destroyed by that. He has to actually physically counter it. And Kroon striker stays in. Crumble the dust is going in because we can hopefully get rid of his mana base a little bit. Actually, nah. I think we need to go more aggro. More aggro. So, put two Kroon Strikers back in. Deflecting Plum is going in because if he Lightning Bolts something uh, to you this turn, prevent that damage. Yeah, so if he tries to Lightning Helix us, and then return to rank so we can bring back all of our little weenie creatures. All these little guys. Okay, well, let's see how this goes. <laughs> That's, uh, the last game was strange. I'm going to play first. I'm 100% playing first. And I can keep this opening hand. It is keepable. Yep. Make sure we hit the keep button this time, not the mulligan button. I've done a bunch of those lately. Just really stupid, just not paying enough attention mistakes. Like, really bad. So I think we go Battlefield Forge, 
even though, I mean, Lightning Bolt is for our opponent's face. So I'm really tempted to literally first turn Battlefield Forge Bolt our opponent's face. Do I do that? Do I do it right now? He has no creatures. He has, like, nothing in the sideboard. So may as well. Oh, he has nothing in his main deck. That is creatures-wise. He's literally winning by all the little 1-1 one -one piddly creatures. So turn one Bolt to face. Go. Turn two is going to be Wall of Omens. Yes, our turn. Again, Celestial Colonnade. He could have won, like, turns, way turns before. Um, so this is whenever a creature. So we go Croon Striker first turn. Take a damage. I don't care. Go, 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 go. And then we're going to play Wall of Omens next turn, making this guy get plus one. So he's swinging for three damage next turn. Okay. I think we should... I feel pretty good about this one. Oh, nice. Another Kroon Striker. I think playing... Ooh. I think we're actually going to do... We're going to go... We're going to go Kroon Striker again. <laughs> because. Um, because next turn we'll be able to swing in for six damage. Which is nice. And this is going to be always yield. I know. I'm, I'm not going to respond to him ever getting bigger. And go to combat. Swing for three. Oh, is he going to path it? He is going to path it. That is fine by me. Yes. Yes, I would like to use that ability. I'm going to get a mountain so I don't have to keep burning myself. And currently I have an infinite combo in hand. So in two turns, I can go infinite. Infinite. Assuming he doesn't have another path. Assuming there is no more paths. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, okay. Going to our turn. Path to Exile. Pathing our stuff early game is really bad against our deck. Because our deck is way too good for that. And I think we go Felidar Guardian... Like this. We're not going to use its ability because it's a May ability. And you go... And you go... Um, sure, I have to choose you. Well, I can choose another permanent. Actually, hold on. Oh, God. I, I messed up there, guys. Messed up big time! Because it's any permanent. Any permanent. Doesn't have to be this guy. That... I wish I could go ahead and do that. I should have done the, the planes. Misplay on my part. That's okay. Misplay. And it's going to be a no. We're not going to... No. Should have done the planes, guys. I always forget that... Because um, this is a creature. This has to be a creature. Where this is any permanent. So I could have done this and then played the Wall of Omens. Too late now, though. Too late. Attack with all creatures. Go to our opponent's turn. And then on our next combat phase, we're going to do Restoration Angel. Because it is Flash. Do it on our opponent's... Uh... So he's going to crack. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that he taps out. I really want our opponent to tap out. Really want our opponent to tap out. Please tap out. Tap all your mana. Cast something big. Oh, one mana, three mana, four mana. Oh, s not fun. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> I'll I'll give him the clap. Well, bravo. Well, well played. Well played, sir. Well, going to our turn, we can still play the Restoration Angel. Swing for three each turn, and I guess we go Soul Ward and Restoration Angel. Why not? May as well go for it. Um, but we're going to play Restoration Angel actually right now. Because our opponent's tapped out, I'd rather actually get into play. This goes... Um, has to be a creature. Okay. We're not going to do it. Doesn't really matter. So we're not going to get extra... We're not going to get extra life from it, so... Shipping it to our opponent's turn. Shipping it straight through our turn. I don't need anything. Okay, I can't believe I, I could have played Wall of Omens. I guess it would have been Supreme Verdict away anyways. So it's not the end of the world. Um, but if we draw into, I mean, Felidar Guardian or Restoration Angel. Uh, no, Felidar Guardian. We have to draw into Felidar Guardian. Then we can uh, be doing some stuff. Stuff in this case being infinite life. Which should be good. Planes, not really what we want. Um, we'll hold up the planes as though it is something other than a planes. 
Yes. Always yield. Not that it's going to happen very often, <laughs> but yes. We gain a life, we draw a card, we draw a Kroon Striker, we'll play the Kroon Striker. Go, go, go. Gaining an extra life. Okay, could have played that on second main phase. Didn't. Not the end of the world. Attack with all creatures, shift our opponent's turn. Go. And I can always yield to this. Shipping it through to our opponent's turn. I mean, he can start doing Celestial Colonnade now. Oh, no, he's, uh, no. He's one land short. Now he can, theoretically. Again, I'm, I don't know why he doesn't do this. Swing in for four damage. A lot better. Or leaving up the mana so we can block the Restoration Angel. Also an option. He may also have Supreme Verdict again. Supreme Verdict is a thing that happens once in a while. Unfortunately, double Supreme Verdict. It's not something you see every single game. Well, let's not let our opponent think that we have too many lands in play. Go. Ship it through. <laughs> Playing against a super control deck is annoying. So annoying, guys. So annoying. And I thought I had him. I should have, uh, maybe I, I overcame it there. I think that's probably what I did. I didn't think he would be doing double Supreme Verdict. Or I mean, I thought the chances were very low for him to have double Supreme Verdict. So I was trying to throw down as much stuff onto the table. So if he does path something, we're not like, play a creature, dead, path. Play a creature, dead, path. So I didn't think uh, there'd be a second Supreme Verdict. But sometimes it happens. Uh, well, we're going to cast... Do I cast you with dash or do I cast you with the regular? I think we cast you a la regular. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That is what we do. And then we're going to play the mountain. Now he's going to counter it. He's going to counter it. Should have saw that coming. Not that surprising. And it's a good old crypticking command. Uh, well, we'll hold on to the mountain then. <laughs> no point playing it. So, um, fun game, guys. Fun game. I mean, Magic the Gathering is a good game. Um, it's fun to watch uh, control decks. Um, what is the objective of the game? For your opponent not to play the game. So, ah, for us, it's not very fun. For our opponent, it should be very fun. Playing control is funner. Is Playing control is more fun than being on the receiving end of the control deck. Wow, mountain. So good. Love the mountains. And, yeah. The one downside and the reason why I like... I mean, I tend to play blue sometimes. Actually, I was going to say. I was going to say, I play blue quite often, but I don't really play blue any more often than any other color. Uh, because it has a lot of a lot of fixing. Cool, look at that. Terrestrial Gil Gil Terrestrial Gear Hulk. So he can play an instant sorcery out of his hand. He's gonna play Think Twice. Or out of his graveyard. Think twice. It's a fun card. Very fun card. The expensive one as well. I'm not sure why you would get the expensive one on MTGO. I kinda wanna just play the cheapest cards <laughs> humanly possible on MTGO. Okay, so I think our opponent's gonna have us on this one as well. Because I don't think we have a way of dealing with this. Again, why isn't he just making Celestial Colonnade? Make Celestial Colonnade, swing in for an extra 4 damage every single turn. This is how you play Magic. This is how you win quick. I mean, your opponent, like, I I'm almost completely tapped down. Like, really, at this point, when I have 2 cards in hand, what are you planning on saving? Like, why, like, do you need to counter this? No! You're gonna frickin' tack in with your Terrestrial Gear Hulk, Hulk, and it's gonna just, <laughs> if I chump block, I chump block with the, the thing. You're going to play the second Terrestrial Geralt. <laughs> Why? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Just, just do the flyer. I can't block it anyways, unless I have a Restoration Angel in hand. At this point, you should guess, because I haven't been playing anything. Would have pathed this if I had a Path to Exile in my hand. Or a Bolt, I would have bolted your face. Not. Well, well, I'm salty. Screw it, I'm going to see if our opponent is going to try and kill us one round. <laughs> play it, I have no cards in hand. There's no reason for you not to bring Celestial Colonnade in. Prove to the players that you are a good player. Bolt. Okay, good. Celestial Colonnade. Celestial Colonnade. Oh. Lightning Helix. Oh, it's another Bolt. Oh. Oh, good. Good boy. You finally figured out how to kill your opponent. Thank God for that. Please tell me you're only going to swing with one Terrestrial Gear Hulk. Just one. I just only attack him with one Terrestrial Gear Hulk. Can't, can't risk it the other way. Oh no, but he is going to make the Celestial Colonnade a creature now. Just in time that the two creatures he has in play can already kill me. Why? 
Don't be this player. Don't do this. This is annoying. This is not playing fun magic. This is doing stuff that is completely unnecessary. Ah! <laughs> why? Why do I play this game? Why? Why do I? Why do I play this game? He said GG. I should say, hmm. It's debatable if it was a good game. It's kind of like a three out of ten game. Until next time, this has been the Advent Calendar. My name is Adrian, and um, play like a giant monster and actually kill your opponent and don't just sit on the ground waiting for nothing to happen. Okay, please do this. Okay, goodbye. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go have a nap now. Um, and maybe a shot of whiskey. We'll see. Thanks for watching the Giant Monster Games Advent Calendar. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you like this video and want to see more videos just like it. A huge shout out to all of the Patreon supporters. You guys are helping make videos like this. And if you want to pick this deck up, there is a link below with an affiliate link so you can grab this entire deck on MTGO.